So about a week or two ago, I initially launched a redesign of my WebCrunch blog. So it's web-crunch.com. If you come to the YouTube channel and you're just hearing of this, this is kind of the backbone of what I'm doing. Um, everything that gets published here is published on the YouTube channel and vice versa, assuming it's a video based you know, format. Sometimes I post over here that are just kind of more con concepts or ideas or just actual blog posts. And other times it's like strictly for YouTube. Maybe I'm vlogging or something, so you won't see it here. But the idea was essentially to move away from WordPress. I had been on WordPress for, I think, two or, two or three years. I think four years, actually. And while I love WordPress, um, it became kind of a chore and slow, as they do. So the more content, the more images and media you add to a WordPress site, the more it just bogs down and then uh, it's just kind of a pain to deal with. And also PHP, not my favorite language to work with, but I basically learned from it. Um, from that and from my learning of Rails over time, I actually migrated to R Ruby on Rails. And while it was kind of a painful process to go from WordPress to Rails, uh, it did kind of go seemingly well. Um, the, the hardest part, honestly, was just transferring the content, which I had to honestly, I didn't need to do this, but I didn't feel like coming up with some crazy script to go scrape my site and then bring it down and then author it and do all this stuff. Instead, I actually just honestly copied and pasted and reformatted a lot of blog posts over a period of like three weeks or so. Just took my time with it. Uh, some some old posts weren't in Markdown and stuff. I like to write in Markdown, so that's the most of what you'll see is it's just a Markdown that gets rendered to HTML. But when you enter the site, you'll see that I'm all about basically providing high quality content or or maybe longer form tutorials that aren't the norm, um, and just kind of embracing video with that. Uh, I like to be in depth with how I work, so you'll see most of it's around being in depth, going building a complete project or you know, just going and seeing something from the start to finish, which has been something I've never seen when I was learning. And it was aggravating when I couldn't figure out certain obstacles, you know, as you come into, which I feel like new developers need to, to see or at least experience to kind of get that mentorship under underway. Um, uh, aside from that, though, it's a basic blog. I have um, articles, which you'll see just basic list here. Um, and it paginates, ooh, cool. Uh, but articles and they're categorized, we can say basically on time, week, month, year, Nothing, nothing's really good here in these filters yet because it's all brand new in the sense of when I've offered it. But we can see, um, you know, if you changed it, if it was a premium, which is new, I'm, I'm gonna be offering some premium content coming up just to help support the hosting of this. Uh, I'm not looking to make a bank or anything like that. So don't think that's what I'm after. Um, but a new thing that I brought to the app was more of a collection based concept. So if you're into what I do in like a specific thing, like whether it's JavaScript, Tailwind or Ruby, Ruby on Rails, I kind of group those together so you can see them easily uh, in one place. Uh, but it's very blog like. So if you in, end up going to say a basic blog and it's got a video it's going to look like this and then we'll have kind of that basic uh, blog and, and all your easy to navigate stuff on the right that just sticks with you which is one of the big things i wanted to do uh, that wasn't on my previous blog i have all my products listed here hoping this list of course grows but of course time is of the essence all the time but why don't i give you a back back uh door view of the admin area. Uh, I didn't go too crazy with it, but I did kind of make it something I, I well, something to, you know, just see what's going on at any given moment. So I have just me as, as an admin, but um, before I go to the admin, why don't I go to the account area? So you could see uh, if you save a post, you can unsave it just to basically read later. Uh, I know if people are on the site, maybe they want to save it. If they have an account, you can sign up. It's totally cool to, and easy to sign up. Um, and of course, notifications, links, and then let's see what else to have. I think that was it for that bit. But there is a way to view a profile, which I'll go, I think I can go check out my profile. It's been a minute since I've actually worked on this, so bear with me. 
there we go. So you can see uh, I have just a basic profile for each person that signs up. This is the admin only area. I could see what you've paid for if you bought like a purchased content or anything. No one's bought anything yet because I don't have anything for sale. So I don't care if you see this. Um, but that's essentially the cool part, I guess. Uh, I have kind of a high level analytic view, recent posts, uh, comments, users. These are people that have signed up so far. I haven't marketed this at all. So if you want to sign up, cool. There's not a ton like of stuff you need to see here. Um, but what, if charges or comments come through, a new tab will show up. Um, below at the bottom here, I have users. I don't really want you to see their emails or anything. So I might be blurring that out right now. But um, yeah, if you sign up, the most likely reason is to save a post for later. So you could save it and you know it'll be in your actual saves you can go to your saves oh we got easier access to it essentially so you can go see that article or if you want to go to um, comment on something that's totally doable as well so looks like i need to do a few margin tweaks but this is of course the longest post uh, let me go here you can actually leave a response i won't do it but I, there is nested comments here kind of like reddit which is kind of fun to build, but also pain to build. So uh, feel free to comment in there. It's Markdown ready if you want to add Markdown as well. That was another thing that was bugging me about my other blog was uh, it was all on, on that discuss comment fr framework, which worked, but was kind of gross and I couldn't do Markdown and they had their own like version of formatting and stuff. It was just kind of a pain. So. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially it. It's, it's nothing crazy, but it is, you know, a feat to, to, you know, I had 279 posts. If you saw migrating those to a rails app was not easy. Oh, one thing I did want to say, show you is what a new post looks like. So this is my own editor I built. It's nothing fancy, but it looks, it looks fancy. I guess you could say, so we could say, Hey, you all. All markdown ready that's preferred and then I have my collections here I can add a new one at some point if we wanted uh, that would just be a direct URL I, I would pass in um, and then I have predefined categories I can add more uh, tagging it's the same here I can uh, I, mean, I might have to do a video on tagging I rolled my own tagging uh, concept which is basically if you enter a single word or multi-word it will kind of do some concatenation and make it, it you know, tag ready. Uh, but multi words require quotation marks, so it's kind of a caveat there. Um, I, I did have my drag and drop image thing going on here, but I found out it was just kind of a pain to use for one image on a blog post, so I just went with the browser default. It's not really a big deal. Um, and then there's just some attributes for the stuff that's commonly in posts. And then um, I'm going to add some scheduling going on right now. I just have published on dates that I can change at any given moment when I need to. And then I, if it's premium, I just set an amount. Uh, and if it's not, then I don't. So then you can go see a preview of it. I need to actually build that functionality yet and make it like a hashed URL that it doesn't exist yet. Uh, but then it, it essentially you can create a post then I can make it full screen too, which is fine. So yeah, that's essentially it of how you would add a new post. So only admins can. So uh, unfortunately, if you want to write for the blog, I'm, I'm open to the idea of contributors. Feel free to contact me on this contact new slug. Um, you can act, select that reason and then just kind of give me an idea of what you want to write about or why and, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it. Like I said, nothing fancy. We have search, it's basic, nothing cool. But um, yeah, I migrated to Ruby on Rails. I've been using Rails almost three years now, which is crazy. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. So that's the key. So it feels lighter, it feels more performant and, and friendlier for me. And I got to customize a lot of the things I wanted to instead of kind of baking it into WordPress like most things you have to do. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback for the blog or find any bugs, feel free to let me know. It's it's just launched, so there's bound to be bugs. Um, I do have an error tracking setup that I have in my own Slack that uh, it's hosted at Honey Badger. 
uh, error tracking. So that's useful. Pro tip, they have a solo developer account you can have and it's free, I believe. That's newer. So I recommend that. Um, I, w I listen to their podcast, I think they're great guys. Um, there's only like three main co-founders and I think there's only like five or six on the team total. But they do error tracking for all types of frameworks. Ruby is kind of their main bread and butter. Uh, they run a Rails app, their app is Rails. Um, but yeah, you can actually go, I think in the pricing, if you go down, it's free for solo devs or open source projects. Mine's open source, or it's basically a solo plan. Um, so pretty cool. Yeah. So check that out if you're interested on your own. Maybe I'll at some point do a video of that, adding air tracking to your own app. It's pretty handy when the time comes. You, you start to see things, you get notified when you're not actively just at your computer or something if your site goes down or whatnot. Feedback is welcomed. If you like it, that'd be cool. If not, let me know why. That'd be great too. So appreciate it. And thanks so much for tuning in. If you've been a, a follower for a while, uh, I hope you enjoy. And I can't wait for the content to keep coming. So expect more soon. All right, guys. Peace.